Hi, my name is Sarish Bellamkonda. As part of uh, Mission Learning, we are handling a project called e Email Spam Filtering. So in that one, I am going to give some uh, introduction and uh, uh, what is a problem definition what we have facing. And I will be reviewing uh, like existing methods what we have used and uh, some proposed methods uh, like uh, what we will be implementing in the project. And next. Yeah, hi, uh, my name is Vikas and uh, I'll be talking about the description of the data set and I'll also be talking about the description of the source code. Yeah. And, and now, my name is Aman Singla. I will be talking about the results of the experiment and division of tasks among us. Now, we are starting the presentation. Hi, my name is Suresh Belamkunda. In the introduction part, uh, in the world of machine learning, we no, no longer need to teach computers how to perform complex tasks like image recognition or text translation. Instead, we build systems that let them learn how to do it themselves. So in the machine learning focuses on the development of computer programs that can teach themselves to grow and change when exported to new data. We consider doing this project as machine learning has been infused into the Google products and services for over a decade. Google first began to use machine learning to apply it into their products that serve billions of users. Google email automatically identifies spam and suspicious emails and marks those emails as spam. When you open your spam label, you will see any emails that were marked as spam by Gmail. Each email will include a label at the top that explains why it was sent to spam. This inspired us to take this challenging project to dig more and implement it practically by considering few available datasets. So when you consider the problem definition, we consider a dataset contains about 33,700 emails which are pre-classified into ham and spam emails. We also found out uh, top 10 words for ham emails and spam emails. We have also found out that which emails are generally longer that is spam or ham by calculating the average word count in the emails and spam emails. If we go into the next slide reviewing existing methods. Most anti-spam programs are designed to do the same job, but they all go about in different way. There are different techniques used for filtering. We have here we have been used list based and content based. And we, if you go into the proposed method uh, screen, we have used two algorithms in our work. One is support vector machine (SVM) and another one is Nasib Bayes algorithm. So we can more we can disc, uh, more give more more description in the programming. We can uh, describe these things, and also we have been using the receiver operating characteristic ROC. Uh, what ROC is a plot of the true positive rate against the false positive rate for different possible cut points of a diagnostic test. At last, we have made a ROC curve to check the prediction of, of our data, how much our data is accurate and area under the cover gives the accuracy test. And the next slides will be continued by Vikas. Vikas and now I will be talking about the description of the data set. So in the data set, we have six folders of Enron data set and each folder contains ham and spam emails. So as you can see uh, in the Enron data set one, we have 3672 emails as ham emails and 1500 emails as spam emails. So altogether we have 16545 emails as ham emails and 17171 as spam emails. So we have split the data set into 7030 and uh, now I'll be describing you about uh, this code. So we have taken 70% of the data set as the training data set and 30% of the data set as the testing data set. So now 70% of the mail goes into the train data set and we have made the test data set folder also in which all the emails which are not in the train data set goes into the test data set. So the next step was making dictionary and extracting the feature. And for this, we have we had to download NLTK uh, library also. So we have made a dictionary in which uh, top 3,000 words are selected and 
we have excluded some common English name words like a and the etc and also we have excluded non alphanumeric characters so we have the extract function so we have made one matrix of feature matrix and label matrix so in the feature matrix we are giving rows and number of emails and columns as dictionary words and in the label we are calculating how many emails are spam and how many emails are ham we have trained the data set in the extract feature train function and this is used in the test function then so we also have made a confusion matrix for both these models and also we have found our top 10 words for ham and spam and uh, i'll show you the code for the top 10 words for ham and spam so this is uh, the code for the ham and if we change the location and everything so we can do it for spam also and uh, the last thing is uh, which emails are longer is it ham emails or the spam emails and also for this uh, we also made a uh, accuracy roc chart for this and i'll be showing you my roc chart for this so this is my roc chart and so we on the x we have false positive rate and on the y we have true positive rate and now aman will continue with the conclusion and yeah Aman Singla, I will discuss about the results of the project. Number of train emails we have taken is 23,596 emails. I can show you in the folder. This is the folder for Enron dataset train. And here you can show that here we can see that 23,596 emails are our train dataset. As the same thing, we can also see that 10,112 emails are test dataset and this folder contains test dataset. Now we have made the confusion matrix of the project. For multinomial nav bias, the confusion matrix comes out to be this and true, positive, true negative rate comes out to be 4822 and true positive rate comes up to be 5031 and for scalar vector machines it comes out to be 4843 and 5068 here it is shown that scalar vector machines are good than multinomial nav wise because the number of error messages are less now we will we have written the code for top 10 words for ham also here the top 10 words for ham are enron ect subject how please and so on the enron word is counted about 45000 times now we have uh, taken the code for top 10 words for spam also this is the result for spam subject has been recorded the most times then comes com then company e http and so on subject comes out to be around 13000 times which emails are generally longer here we have calculated average word count for ham emails and spam emails separately and then predicted which emails are generally longer. Average word count for ham emails are 365.5 words and average word count for spam emails are 261.3 words. So it can be concluded that ham emails are generally longer than spam emails. Now the ROC curve. ROC curve shows us that the area under curve is the result of prediction about that how much our code is correct so we have predicted that roc curve also and we have predicted that 99 percent of the result comes out to be true division of task source code is majorly done by aman and help is given by vikas and sharish report is majorly done by vikas and help is given by aman and sharish presentation is majorly done by sharish and help is given by aman and vikas and video is made by all of us. Thank you.